Alright lads, so today I'm going to give you the choice to choose my team for F1 2015 career mode or however you want to call it, pro season mode or championship season mode, however you want to call it. Basically, if you're new to my channel and if this is like the first time you've sort of seen this kind of video before, uh, basically I'm going to leave a straw poll down in the description. You've got a choice of 10 teams and from these teams there's going to be a massive disparity between performance, uh, tire wear, um, just all these little things that are um, sort of part of Formula 1. So if you're not really into Formula 1 then maybe you probably shouldn't vote but if you still want to vote for a car that looks good then by all means then go for it. I'm just going to go through a rundown of all the teams or sort of like the, the tiers of which the teams sort of fit in and I'm going to try and convince you to vote for the kind of career mode that you want to see. Essentially, like, if you vote for Mercedes, you're saying that you want to see a career mode where I just win every single race. But if you vote for something like McLaren, then you want to see me struggle a little bit, maybe get some points at the odd race or two, and, um, yeah, see how it goes from there. So I'm just going to go through each of the teams, or sort of like the tiers and stuff, and um, I'll sort of convince you how to, uh, which team to vote for. So... Yeah, just bear that all in mind as I go through each of the teams now. I'm going to start off at the bottom uh, with Marussia and McLaren. I'm going to dub this sort of the uh, back marker sort of tier. So basically, we'll be at the back right from the offset. Um, you've got to take into consideration as well that I'll be new to this game as, with, as will everyone else. So my skill level won't quite be there. I'll probably be beaten by my teammate maybe in the first race or two. But um, yeah, essentially McLaren and Marussia, we're going to be at the back. It's going to be a rarity if we score points the f through the first few races as well with our lack of development and um, just a real slow car. We're going to be down on horsepower massively on straights. So we're going to get overtaken for days even if we gain positions on the first lap. So take that into consideration. But uh, it could be a long, hard slog if we go for any of those two teams. Now, moving on to Toro Rosso, Sauber, Lotus... Force India and Red Bull. This is sort of the region that you want to be in if you're doing a career mode for yourself. You might enjoy this the most, even if you're playing it for yourself. But watching it, I think it'll be just as uh, enjoyable for my skill level against Legend AI. So basically, Toro Rosso, they're an attractive team to me. They've got two young drivers. We could play out in a, a scenario of being, you know, first timer into Formula One and we're competing against our other rookie teammate and trying to show off to the Red Bull bosses or whoever whoever wants to, to sign for us in the next season or whatever and um, just see how we go from there. Sauber, I'm not too big on their drivers if I'm honest, but I like their car. I think it looks nice. Uh, Lotus, obviously we've got Romain Grosjean and Pastor Maldonado. We could be Maldonado because, well, some people think I'm pretty aggressive. If you look at my Project Cars career mode, I, I agree with you. Force India, um, they've got Hulkenberg and Perez. Um, two solid drivers, so we'll be up for a, a tough fight there if we go to Force India. Red Bull uh, with Renault Power. They're going to be fairly slow on a straight line. Good through high speed and medium speed corners, but apart from that, not too great. So um, Red Bull, if we go for Red Bull, we might get the occasional podium or something like that. As with all of these teams right down to Toro Rosso. So... I don't know, it's up to you guys, but uh, I think that sort of range there from Red Bull, Force India, Lotus, Sauber, and Toro Rosso, those teams will sort of be where most of the battles will be happening, so just um, bear that in mind. We may, and I say this with a big pinch of salt, we may win one race in one of those cars. If we get really lucky, safety cars or some retirements or what have you, but um, yeah, it's going to take some kind of miracle because I have a feeling it might be a little bit harder this year with um, just getting used to a new game and everything, and the, the potential for a more simulation-like handling model could make for some uh, very interesting results, but I'm rambling way too much. This video is going on for way too long. Moving on to Williams and Ferrari. They're sort of a top-level team, but not right at the top where Mercedes are. Now, we'll probably be, if we go for Ferrari or Williams, we'll probably be battling with Mercedes, I don't know, most races, but not all races. So there is the potential to get podiums every single race and with the, the potential to get maybe two or three race wins in one season. So that's that's the sort of career mode um, we're looking at if we go with those two teams. And then obviously Mercedes. Well, if you want me to drive for Mercedes, then you obviously want me to be all by myself winning races um, like Lewis Hamilton or a Sebastian Vettel of the V6 era. V8 era, sorry. So um, there's your choices. 
Um, I'll leave a straw poll, as I said, to all the teams that you can choose down in the description below. I'll leave it in the comments as well. And, you know, if voting isn't enough for you, if you want to write down in the comments, you know, you know, sort of justify which team I should go for with um, a little bit of reasoning, maybe something I've missed, then let me know down in the comments as well. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, picking my team. If you have a specific driver you want me to drive for, drive for? That, I don't know, that doesn't make sense. You don't drive for a driver, you drive as a driver. But, um, yeah, in terms of drivers, I'm not too sure. We'll see what the winning team is, and then from there we'll sort of choose the driver. If I'm honest, if I'm probably going to go for a second driver because I like having the first team driver in the career mode, and we compete against them because it'll be more of a challenge if that makes sense. So that's been this video for today. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video as well. And the F1 2015 career mode will be starting on Friday once I get the game. So stay tuned for that. And until my next video, guys, I'll see you next time.